Hey guys, today's pour is brought to you by the planet Earth. Yes. So the colors today, primary yellow, phthalo blue, green shade, the deco art uh, metallics, deep turquoise Windsor and Newton, um, Payne's gray, that's the fluid acrylic, mixed with a little bit of the primary elements, Payne's gray by color art. That's color art, pigments right there. And then we have the 24 karat gold deco art metallics and the deco art matte metallic uh, rose gold mixed with some of the Indian spice bling it by color art. Satin enamel white, just a tiny bit today, not very much in the pure white color. And then this almost fluorescent light green blue shade from Golden. That's one of their heavy body colors. And that's the color palette today. It was inspired by this painting. So do you guys remember my dancing peacock painting? I'll link it here. This was like the pinnacle painting of one of, of my art career, truthfully. And I thought, hey, why not try to recreate it? <laughs> because it was the hardest one I ever made. I just want to see if I can do it. I've been in kind of a rut and I thought, you know what, I'm going to challenge myself instead of doing something really simple. I'm actually going to try to recreate one of my hardest paintings. So yeah, because <laughs> that's how I roll apparently. But um, if you ever wanted to know how I set up my station for the camera, YouTube, this is how I do it. Also, thank you so much to my patrons and you know who you are thank you so much for helping me uh, keep my channel going and i really appreciate it if you want to be a patron of the arts you can support my channel in a few different ways there's a link to the paypal in the description box where you could make a small or large donation that helps greatly you can share 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 social media i'm heather mater art on all social media and then I turn the lights on, camera action, and then we go. And this is how it's done. Today I use a 16 inch round canvas. And yeah, I wanna see if I can just even get the same types of cells. So I watched my own video and I layered my cup the same way. And that's the 24 karat gold. These are all mixed with just Floetrol. That's the phthalo blue that I showed you. And then we're going to do the, oh, Payne's gray. That's a manganese blue. I forgot about that one. Then the deep turquoise. Um, yeah, you got to add a manganese blue in there in that palette I decided. And then a little bit more gold and then more of the phthalo blue more of the manganese blue, more of the turquoise, or Payne's gray, more of the turquoise, more gold, just a little dollop. And see that tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of satin enamel just at the very end, so not very much. Now this is called a straight pour from high up, and I'm really, really high, almost hitting the camera here, and what that does is it basically forces the paints together um, down under each other and so the different densities react with each other. Now I'm putting a gold ring, the 24 karat gold, the rose gold mixed with the Indian spice and then, oh wait, that's the, oh no, no, what is that? That is the, it, that has to be the Indian spice. Uh, sorry, the rose gold and then the Indian spice paint that I made. Um, yellow. My, my paintings are complicated, y'all. <laughs> I was watching my own painting to see how to recreate it, and I was like, dang, this is, this is not easy. <laughs> this is a lot. It's a lot for me to figure out. Um, but this is what I did. This is how I made the peacock painting. So I really wanted to try to recreate it. Then I made a second pour and that second pour had all the same colors in it, but I put a little bit more white in the bottom of the cup 
um, I put white in the bottom of the cup where I didn't the last time. And more of that green, green, see that, you know, obnoxious kind of neon green. I wanted to put that in the little cup. So the reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted to give the effect the other one had was kind of a light, a lightness around the center. Well, what ended up being the lower part. So the canvas, the dancing peacock was an 18 by 24. So it was a significantly different canvas, but I'm just seeing what I can do on the small canvas. Now I'm sure you guys know how to get those pearl cells, but just as a tip, I put the rings of gold, the different golds around the pour, and then I roll the pour over the gold rings. Now, that means that the gold needs to be a little bit um, denser of a viscosity, so a little bit thicker. And the other paints need to be a little bit thinner so that the pearl cells are allowed to pop. Now, you also have to get almost all the paint off of that canvas in order for those pearl cells to pop through. If you don't, they won't come through and they will just obstruct it. So you'll see me fiddling quite a bit with trying to get paint off of here. Because they should start popping through a, right away, a few of them. And if you don't see that happening, then you need to tilt some more off of your canvas. And that's, that's how it works, y'all. So that's what I did. And you can tilt for a little bit. This is all in real time. I'm showing you this part, the tilting, because you can tilt a little bit and then you'll get to a point where you have to stop or you're gonna start distorting those golden pearl cells. So, and you don't wanna do that because see how they're kind of distorted right now? They'll fix, they'll fix themselves if I stop right now. <laughs> So I saw this little fish in there. Do you see that little fish guy? Um, and at first I really thought I could kind of make him stand out a little bit. So that was my initial plan. I thought I'm gonna make this fish maybe even embellish so it looked like, you know, that fish was kind of swimming through a lagoon or swimming through the water and pushing the water out in front of it. But so I worked on that a little bit for it with some popsicle sticks. And then I'm thinking, Heather, you can't make a fish out of that because you are not wanting to You know what? I just didn't think I could. And I hate to admit that, but that's the truth, if I just want to be totally honest. I'm not a great painter with a paintbrush. So this is me sitting here figuring out something. I just want to do something. I'm... I just don't want to leave it like that. <laughs> Even though it kind of looks like a crazy moon or the Earth, which is why I brought this video to you by Planet Earth, because it does look like the beautiful Earth, but... I just, I don't know. There's just something about that that's not sitting with me. I'm having trouble right now um, with the traditional end part of the ring where you just get that weird ending that always looks like a circle or a ring pour. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna use my airbrush. But when I did that, nothing beautiful popped through because I had tilted so much of the paint off to get those pearl cells. So <clears throat> underneath there, I was trying to get any, anything to come through. And it was just white and blue and nothing special was happening whatsoever. So then I just sat here and I thought, what could I do to move just that part? I don't want to scrape 
because I do like the colors and the, the white there but it needs some kind of movement so I got this idea and this is partly because I went to Linda Whitlow's um, she had a little open house art auction this weekend and I saw the most beautiful flower dip there and I was in love and I thought I've been kind of itching to do a flower dip and I thought I'm gonna do what would be the equivalent of a dip on that part and see just what happens. So I tore the um, plastic wrap exactly the same shape as that right there and then I did the dip. This might be actually considered like a reverse partial dip. I think that's what it would be like, a reverse partial dip. But it made the prettiest patterns and I'll show you in a minute under some different light after all the cells came in oh my gosh it, it and it's funny how you can take something that is your least favorite part of a painting and turn it into your most favorite part of a painting and um, that ended up being the most favorite part of this painting for me I absolutely love that part so and now it really does look like the earth and that really does look like oceanic curtain uh, currents wave currents like running through the ocean or something I really really liked it and I did get the same cells as the dancing peacock painting so that leaves me hopeful for the bigger painting but I decide I want a little tiny bit more movement um, I don't want to disrupt that green band right there because I really like that it's really contrasty and um, but I want more movement so I just took another little piece and did another little controlled reverse dip and kind of brought it towards the rest of the painting. And then just did a little shift here and there. <clears throat> Sorry, the lighting is interesting. Um, I did this in the daylight and I usually paint at night, so I notice it's quite bright. But now I'm just tilting the painting a little bit here and there to incorporate the new uh, parts with the old parts and marry them together happily ever after so now I want to take this painting under the light so you can see in a close-up some of the actual cells and the actual uh, effects <laughs> I love how you get the different colored gold and that's from the different gold rings um, that I put around there so look at how the cells they have green that green coming through the end of them they have rose color in the center it's hard to see but there's rose gold in the center and then look at this part you guys oh look at it it looks like a stream running over golden river rocks and how the current kind of is watery um, with the you know the, the foamy top and then that green band is just miraculous right there but I love that part I think it looks so amazing and then the whole thing just turned out looking so pretty kind of like the earth and there's some little close-up shots so I think I did pretty good and next time you guys pay attention to the next video I am going to try to make it look like the dancing peacock painting so thanks for coming along with me and as always I appreciate each and every one of you much love and peace light and love and um, see you next time <laughs>